Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel and today we're going to be talking about how to make your Volvo last forever. So, since sort of recently joining the online Volvo community, um, it's come pretty obvious to me that there are cars, Volvo cars, that can pretty much last forever. Um, if you look at Volvo V70s, go on Auto Trader, you can easily find them with over 200,000 miles. Um, so that got me thinking, how far could you get a car? And I found out that this, well, Volvo, um, there is a Volvo in the world with 3 million miles on it. Um, so that got me thinking, well, how could we try to um, perhaps, what do you need to do to get your car to 3 million miles or to last forever? So that's what we're going to be talking about. And the first thing that was immediately apparent, um, I think all you guys aren't going to be surprised by this, is the maintenance. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop the bonnet on the on the Volvo, um, take a look in there, and we'll talk about some of the maintenance that you need to keep on top of to keep your car running. Okay guys, so we're gonna, this is going to be the first section of the video because I'm going to split it down into different parts. Um, to start off with, we're going to be talking about the drivetrain, then we're going to be talking about the transmission, um, and then sort of the suspension and everything like that. So break it down into three main sections of the car. But essentially, when we're talking about the engine, we want to be talking about oil changes and cam belt changes. Um, this is the prime way of engine failure, especially with um, sort of Volvos, especially the only thing that really goes wrong with them, apart from these engine mounts here, is the cam belt. So as you can see, this car had its cam belt change in 2018 at 69,541 miles. Um, it also, also then had another cam belt change at 75,000 miles when someone else bought the car um, and they were concerned um, for, the, for their own peace of mind, they got the cam belt done again. Um, so what cam belt essentially does is it keeps all the engine in time. Um, we recently had one go on one of the cars at the house um, polo and what it's done is essentially grenaded the engine um, so it's busy today um, even though everyone's meant to be in lockdown but um yeah essentially uh in traps um caused all of the engine components to smash against each other and destroy themselves so needless to say this is quite an important little maintenance task to be done um, really you should be doing them every five years or between 60 to 100,000 miles it will vary on which car I think this car it is every 60,000 miles so I've got 40,000 miles to go until it's done um, it's very difficult to do yourself you can do it um, I'm personally when it comes to it I think I'll probably just take it to a garage specialist to get done it's only a few hundred pounds and if it means that you're gonna keep your engine going for another 60,000 miles that's great for me in terms of engine oil changes these service intervals are quite long I think they're between 15 and 20,000 miles according to the manufacturer but I prefer to do them every 10,000 miles maximum um, it's a diesel engine so you can be quite lax with it but oil changes are one of the most important things when you're trying to get your car to last forever so bear that in mind when you are um, considering what maintenance if you're trying to put off an oil change just get it done because it will cost you less in the long run um, to just get it done than if the engine fails so yeah make sure you're getting that done and also call it and everything as well just stay on top of that stuff um diagnostics you can run regularly to sort of keep up um an eye on check how your engine's doing um but then let's talk about the transmission because obviously an engine can't propel the car anywhere without a transmission so this has got an automatic six speed transmission um unfortunately because it's a 2000 and, well sort of past it's the second generation S80. Um, it's got a much stronger gearbox than the first generations had. They'd usually last about 100,000 miles and just go kaput, whereas these ones are pretty much good for quarter of a million miles um, with minimal maintenance, provided, however, you drive sensibly. So that's what I'm going to get into. So basically, what you need to be doing is um, not driving the car hard. If you want your car to last longer, you just need to drive sensibly and in a nice relaxed manner uh, that will allow you to put much less stress on all of the sections of the car the engine the transmission and the suspension but it would also mean that your fuel economy is better and 
I, I find actually this it's a much more enjoyable drive um, much more comfortable drive anyway so um, that's something to bear in mind also you need to maintain the gearbox um, if you notice there's any issues re arising um, wait for this bike to go past nice Harley Davidson um, if there's any issues regarding uh, it feeling like quite clunky when it shifts or there's any sort of grinding noises you need to be taking that straight away um, to a specialist there's no point messing about with your gearbox on just on your own um, just because a new one's expensive uh, but like I said these ones are fairly robust in this Volvo model so that's something to bear in mind sort of the p3 chassis and uh, gearboxes I think Volvo definitely took a a lot of um, feedback from customers and really improved them for this generation of car um, in terms of suspension and everything like that um, the main thing is just to keep up on the maintenance again this sort of the the common theme throughout this video is that you need to be maintaining these cars if you want them to last long um, shock absorbers bushings everything like that they go and if you don't replace them it puts a lot of excess pressure on the rest of the car um, so for example if a shock absorber fails in the rear um, the way that these are set up they're going to put a lot more pressure on the springs which is then going to subsequently put a lot more pressure on the subframe so essentially as long as you keep on these things um, they will be fairly robust uh, like I said Volvo build very very solid cars and I've said that before in previous videos but um, they're only so solid as long as you look after them um, if you funny about with them break them then you'll they'll start to give you issues so um, yeah so that that's it guys um, let me know what mileage your car is on I'd be really interested to see what the viewers of this channel um, what sort of cars what sort of mileages their cars are on this car at the moment is on 86,000 well nearly 87,000 miles so it's fairly young um, in Volvo terms uh, so let me know what you guys have got um, I know there are definitely some V70s 850s and everything like that that are on hundreds of thousands of miles so we're really interested if you guys got in touch um also give me a follow on drive life volvo on instagram um we're growing a quite nice rate so um any support would be appreciated but uh yeah that's it guys thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you next one cheers